recording yet. Just painting my nails. Is that a good idea? Let's see it. What's happened to my phone? First boyfriend as such. As such. Somehow just deleted the questions. I don't know how to word it. How do I word this? Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. So today I'm doing the new YouTuber tag. I have seen these floating around YouTube for a little while now and I thought since I have just over 100 subscribers now, which is so great. And if you are a subscriber, thank you so much for your constant support um, and encouragement on my channel so far. I've loved having you all on board. And if you're not subscribed, please make sure you do click that red subscribe button down below and click the little notification bell to be sure you're going to be notified every time a video does go live. But like I said, since I do have 100 subscribers now, or a bit over, I thought I would do the new YouTuber tag, just so you guys can get to know me a little bit better. I've got my questions here on my phone. So the first question is, what is your name? My name's Silvana. Where are you from? I was originally born from Macedonia, which is a country associated with like Yugoslavia. I came to Australia when I was three years old. Australia is home and it's what I know home to be. Um, even though I have visited or gone back overseas to see family, um, Australia is definitely home. So, and the state that I live in is New South Wales, in case you're wondering. About your family, you married kids and have pets. So yes, I am married. I married my, I guess you would call it high school sweetheart because I met him when I was 16 years old, but we didn't start dating until I was 18 years old. Um, and we've been together ever since and got married in 2012. So we've been married now for six years and have two beautiful little kids. Um, little kids because they're still so young. I have a four-year-old son, his name's Christopher, and I have a almost two-year-old, she'll be two in November, um, daughter and her name is Adriana so that's our little family we don't have any pets I've always had cats growing up and as an adult I did lose two cats um, which was so devastating and so hard because you get so attached they're like your children and when we did lose them quite suddenly and unexpectedly it was a shock and really hard to deal with so I just I can't bear losing another pet that way. I think they bring a great thing to the family, especially to young children. And I know Christopher's getting to the stage where he's now asking for a pet. So it just depends. We may get a pet in the future, whether it's a dog or cat, I'm not too sure. Um, but for now, we're really happy with just our little family of four. So no pets, two kids and married. How many siblings do you have? I have one sibling um, and that is an older sister. Three fun facts about me. Three fun facts about me. I guess I've already covered one which was I was born overseas um, and now I now live in Australia. So I guess that's a fun fact. Um, another fun fact. Gosh, I really should prep for these questions because I have not. I've just kind of like turned the camera on and pulled the questions out and went with it. Um, so let's see. A fun fact. Mm. Um, I guess another fun fact would be that I've only been to one other country besides from my birth country and where I currently live. So I've only ever been to Vanuatu, which is where we went for our honeymoon, um, which was so beautiful. I'd love to go back with the kids one day. Um, but that's the only other country I've been to, except obviously where I was born, Macedonia, and now where I'm living in Australia. Um, but I've never traveled anywhere else. I would love, love to travel more. Um, should go to USA and Canada and Europe. There's so many places I want to see out there and see the world. Um, but while we still have two really young kids, I've, um, we're waiting until waiting until they get a little bit older so they can appreciate it and understand it and remember it as well. So definitely um, traveling is in the cards for us. It's just not right now. Um, but I cannot wait to travel more and see more of the world. So that's my second fun fact is that I've never been anywhere else in the world. And the last one would be... Um, I guess I could add that I have a phobia for magpies. Absolutely hate magpies. I got attacked by two magpies 
um, when I was still at uni and it absolutely petrified me. At uni it's really hard to find parking so I had to park like where the, there was like a dirt road section um, and had to walk miles to get to the to get to class. I mean it wasn't actually miles but you know what I mean. And I remember it was must have been magpie season. I didn't even know it was magpie season. Which magpie season is around the springtime, I believe. So from like September to November-ish. Um, I had no idea it was magpie season or that was a magpie zone area. But I was just walking casually to class from my car. And then all of a sudden got swooped by a magpie. Knocked my earring out and made my ear bleed. And I was absolutely shaking. I was so scared. And I think it happened twice. Um, to me, not on the same day, but it, ha it did happen twice. And ever since then, every, every time I hear wings flapping or a bird soaring through the sky, I absolutely just freak out and, yeah, completely scared of magpies. I'm okay with other birds. Um, okay with other birds. I don't like other birds. I'm okay with them. But magpies, I'm completely terrified of them. Um, so, yeah, they're my three fun facts. I was born overseas have only visited one other country besides from my birth country and I have a phobia for magpies. So the next question is, are you a stay-at-home mum or a working parent? Um, I'm a bit of both. So I do part-time, I work part-time and then I am a stay-at-home mum for two days a week. So I work three days a week and I stay home for two days a week and then obviously the weekends as well. Um, I just work in insurance. I am a qualified primary school teacher, um, which I gave up several years ago only because I couldn't find steady employment in my area and I wasn't um, committed to go and move for the job. We also were at a point in our lives where we wanted to settle down and, you know, buy a house and start a family. So I needed to get a full-time job, which I did, um, but it was in a field that I had no experience in um, and no real interest in. I just kind of fell into it, um, but I'm still there. I think I've been there for like eight years now, which is crazy. Um, so yeah, I just work for insurance. And my dream would be to stay home full-time. I absolutely love being a mum. It's my passion. It's my drive, hence this channel. Um, it's what I know I'm meant to be doing. I love children. I always have since I was little. And again, another reason why I wanted to do teaching is to be with children and help them thrive and develop and learn and grow. So that is where my passion lies, is being a carer for children. Um, so maybe one day I'll be a full-time stay-at-home mom. I don't know what the future will hold, but you know, in this day and age, we need two incomes to get, you know, to have a really good lifestyle and have the things that we want and need. Um, so yeah, I do work part time three days a week and then a stay home mom for two days. What is your channel about? Okay, so my channel in a nutshell is just a mum and lifestyle channel. I share all things mum related. I do advice videos, DIYs, hauls. Um, I do tag videos. <laughs> um, just everything surrounding mum, lifestyle, kids, baby, toddler, um, all those topics. Like I said, have, being a mum is my passion and drive. And now that I'm a mum of two, I feel like I've got a lot of experience and knowledge to share. So that is what my channel is about, just sharing my knowledge, my experience and throwing in some fun clothing hauls and little tag videos as well. The question is, did any YouTubers inspire you to make a YouTube channel? Yes, of course, definitely. I wouldn't be doing YouTube if I didn't have, um, you know, people inspiring me to actually do my own channel. I would say I started watching YouTube, gosh, so many years ago. I think it was around 2004, I want to say. Um, around like my uni years. I don't even know how I started watching YouTube, but I remember the first couple of channels that I did watch and I still do watch them to this day and they still inspire me to this day. And that is Anna Sokoli, which I'm sure a lot of you mummy YouTubers out there have heard of her before and have seen her and are also watching her. I remember the first video I watched of Anna's and that was when her video, her channel was more like a style based channel. And she was doing a video on the right bikinis to wear for your body type, which was really interesting um, and got me hooked in her channel for whatever reason. 
And now she's got like a vlog channel with her husband and her three beautiful kids, almost four. Yeah, she was definitely one of the first YouTubers that I watched. And the other YouTuber that I watched, her name is Cara Emily. And I just loved her weekly lookbooks that she used to do. And then she got pregnant with her firstborn. And I started watching her pregnancy updates and just continued on from that. Um, she's definitely a great inspiration to me. She's very creative and also a hairdresser. So I love watching her style videos. I'll leave the channels up here and in the description bar too if you're interested in checking them out. Why did you start a YouTube channel? I started a YouTube channel, I guess, for several different reasons. Um, I'm a very creative person. I've always loved the media and being creative that way. As a child, I would actually write scripts up and get my cousins to play out roles and movies and do the like the sound effects and the music effects to the movie. I was really into like, you know, filming movies. I, I wanted to be a writer and a movie director when I was younger, um, which obviously didn't happen, but I had that passion in me. I feel like I still do have a drive to do something um, in that field. So I thought YouTube would be a great way to, I guess, fulfill that desire that I have in me and that passion that I have in me. Um, and obviously I want to, I want to use this channel to develop a really supportive and encouraging community with other mummy YouTubers out there and just share my knowledge and experience with being a mum, being an educator and just making it a fun and safe place, place for people to come, be entertained, get some information from. I actually have a blog which I started before my YouTube channel and it's kind of how I've fallen into YouTube as well. I wanted to do YouTube years ago but I never had the guts to do it. Um, to be honest, I just feel like when people think of being a YouTuber, they think you're trying too hard or you're trying to get famous or, you know, they'll look at you weirdly and, you know, question what you're doing and why you're doing it. And I actually tried to do a couple of videos years ago and end up deleting all the footages from that because I didn't think it was good enough. I thought, you know, I was worried about what people would think, if they'd laugh at me, they make fun of me. But... I guess now that I'm older, I'm more mature and I've got some experience behind me and being a mum and I've got like a little niche that I can use to, you know, put videos out there on. Um, that is kind of where I got my confidence to do it now and actually start posting videos. So I just want to connect with other mums out there, develop this supportive network and just have some fun with it. I'll see where it takes me. I don't know where it's going to take me. I don't know how long I'm going to do this for. But so far, I'm loving it so much fun and I love the connections and the friendships I've already made here on YouTube. So the next question is, what does your username mean? So my username is obviously Mummy Diaries. And I guess I came up with this name because as a kid, I used to love journaling. Like I would have a diary for every year. I would write down all my thoughts and feelings and day-to-day -day activities that I would do. And I loved looking back on that and laughing and crying and you know, feeling all those emotions and feels again from everything that's happened. And you forget things so quickly um, of beautiful memories that you've had. So yeah, I used to love journaling and doing that. But then as I got older, I stopped doing it. And I got too busy. I would forget to journal my days and um, I just stopped doing it and I had nothing to look back on. So I guess Mummy Diaries, the name Mummy Diaries is basically this is my diary. YouTube is like my diary. I'm sharing all my feelings, my experiences, my knowledge, things that I would in a journal. I guess not as personal. Maybe it will be one day. I don't know. But that's kind of the idea that, you know, the, the names come from. So the next question is, were your family supportive of you starting a channel? To be honest, not many people know about my channel except for some close, close friends and my husband. I haven't had the nerve to go out there and promote my channel as yet, like on Facebook and just to my work colleagues. No one actually really knows about my channel just yet. Um, like I said, I didn't have much confidence years ago when I wanted to start this channel. But now that I do, I kind of want to do it, you know, want to ease myself into it. Um, but the people that I have told definitely have been very supportive and interested 
and encouraging so I would say definitely have had some encouragement but I haven't told everyone so we'll see what others do think I'm kind of scared to see what other people think of the channel um, I'm just doing this for fun and as a little hobby so you know they can think what they want but I haven't actually promoted you know what I'm doing at the moment so if they come across it they come across it but so far I've had positive feedback so that's great the next question is what are you currently filming and editing with I used to film on my iPhone 6 and was doing that up until recently but that worked fine there was nothing wrong with it I mean the quality wasn't amazing but it was fine and then I was editing on my phone as well I did buy a camera just recently and that's what I'm filming on at the moment and that's a Canon G7X Mark II so it's a very popular camera on YouTube and I've been eyeing this out for years like I said I wanted to do this channel years ago um, and I've been looking at this this camera for years and years and I didn't just buy it for YouTube I've always wanted to have a good camera to just you know capture beautiful moments with my family when we're out on holidays I wanted to really I wanted to get a really good decent camera that I could do that with so um, I didn't just buy that for YouTube so definitely it's going to be a multi-purpose camera but yeah I'm so excited I do have a Canon G7 X Mark II now um, and I'm still actually editing on my phone I just find it easier I learned how to edit on an app called Perfect Video so if you're interested I'll link it down below um, but it's pretty much like an iMovie with really cool features um, and that's just what I'm used to editing with I'll I'll probably change it up in the future but at the moment that's what I'm comfortable with and I'm getting videos out with that because it's so easy to use and I can actually transfer all the footage that I'm getting on my um, camera at the moment onto my phone and edit that way and just upload straight from my phone so it's super easy what's the best thing about YouTube the best thing about YouTube is definitely connecting with other mums out there and seeing people interested and excited about your channel and your context that you're putting out there definitely is a great drive and motivator for me and actually commenting and liking subscribing so just yeah it's really exciting and I can't believe people are actually watching my videos um, it's quite surreal so definitely a great thing about YouTube the next question is the worst thing about YouTube so I guess even though I love editing videos it's just so time consuming um, I definitely love the end result and seeing it all come together videos take such a long time to put together from filming to um, editing videos to putting it to uploading it on YouTube and then adding your description your tags and your titles and all that is very very time consuming just to get one video out so I guess that's probably the worst thing about YouTube that is not a quick fix thing you can't just film and upload and that's it done and dusted I mean I guess you probably could if you didn't want to edit too much um, but there needs to be still some kind of editing in your videos um, because let's face it no one goes from starting your video all the way through without making any mistakes or needs to stop the video at any time so um, it just takes a long time and I suppose because I am a working mum and a stay at home mum I find balancing my time is a little bit difficult but I still really enjoy it. I love seeing the end result after I do a video and watch it back. It's really cool to see and I can't believe I created that so I get really excited and passionate about it. So um, it's a bad thing but then it's a good thing at the same time. So that's why I'm continuing doing it I suppose. And that's the end of my video. I hope you have learned a little bit more about me and my channel and what I'm about. If you like what you see and you want to see more of it please don't forget to subscribe and click the notification bell if you have done that already. Don't forget to give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed watching this video. And I'll see you in my next one. Bye guys.